Okay. Hi, everybody. It is Monday, August 6th. I'm Tracy Winesapple. The P is silent. In case you don't know how to spell my name, you do not, or pronounce my name, you do not say the P in it. Okay. So I've been a little bit uh, hiatusing, <laughs> is that a word, uh, on vacation a couple of days with my cousins. If you haven't seen my blog today, go to it. It's pretty funny. My cousins and I were here, or were here for a few days, and I have been nothing but laughing for three days straight until my stomach hurt, and I now have new smile wrinkles, which I say are the best kind of wrinkles in the whole world. So if you were wondering what they look like, there is the three of us. I said family, cousins, friends. Um, I got a ton of sun. I went to the beach and went boogie boarding and body surfing all day on Friday with the kids and my cousins. And normally this 42-year-old mother doesn't go into the water till about mid-August. And my cousins were from Michigan or are from Michigan. And nothing was keeping them out of that water. And so they kept begging me to go in it. And, um, oh, we had such a good time. So anyway, I had, I'm had i playing catch up now because, you know, yesterday and today. And I've done nothing. I've thought about something. Um, I have a saying for today. It's always follow your heart. That's what I got. And I want to draw a bird. <laughs> Pretty much want to give you the bird, but I'm not going to do that because this is a professional show. We don't act like that. At least that's what my mother tells me when I'm out in public. So anyway, um, I was looking at pictures of birds today because I want to do something whimsical. My one cousin was here, likes birds. And, um, oops, sorry, I'm going to move my camera. My one cousin likes birds, and so I thought, oh, it'd be kind of fun to draw a bird. So this afternoon, I was trying to sketch birds unsuccessfully, but, I mean, we can do it, right? I'm not drawing a bald eagle or anything. I was just going to draw like a, you know, shoot, I don't know what I'm going to draw now, but I do have to make a copy of something. <gasps> this might not be, this might not turn out like, okay, hold on. Well, you know what? Okay. I wanted it to be a whimsical bird. All right. All right. Well, we'll we'll deal with the bird when we get there. <laughs> this is what I was sketching today. There's my, okay, you can't see it. Anyway, uh, switch my camera view. Oh, you want to look at my chest? Okay, yeah, I don't want to see you. We'll draw the bird. <laughs> I can already see where I'm going to be wanting to joke about the bird all night long. Okay, so let me see. Uh, we can't see what you're doing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good thing. We'll get to the bird. We're going to draw the bird, I promise. I'm wondering if 9 by 12 is too big for this concept that's in my head. Maybe I should go 8 by 10. Eh, you know what? Let's go 9 by 12. Okay, so is there anything, uh, any, oh, and in this little receptacle or retainer, as I like to call it, because now I get to call it that, um, there are all the entries from July. Uh, I cannot, I, I didn't count the number, but it's the most responses we've had for a challenge. So either the challenge was really good or I just bugged the crap out of you. Um, one of the two, but the response was either, it was awesome. The August response, my goal is, it, is it's going to be even better, especially about how you all moaned at me. So, uh, anyway, if you're having problems with the chat, I'm sorry. Uh, it's free. I wish I could control that. No, I'm going to do the drawing later. I have not, I was just, I've never drawn a bird and my cousin loves birds. So I thought, what the heck, you know, like, why not try a bird? And I was going to do, I saw one somewhere with a little heart coming out of it. And my saying was going to be, follow your heart. So my head's all over the place. You know how it is. It's just going to happen how it happens. It's going to be very um, organic. <laughs> okay, probably not. Or we'll just do a heart on it. We'll call it a day. No, we're not going to do that. Okay, any... Um, the other thought that I had was I would cut it out of canvas and paint it. I also bought this from Blick. And this is unprimed canvas. So we could also do that. Okay, that's what this is. Okay. 
So m lots of ideas. We just need to get a background going and that's what we need to do. Okay, that's what we need to do. You said I was to remind you to tell you who won. Yes. Remind me to pick a winner. How about that? <laughs> and I don't mean this kind. This kind. Um, anyway, here we go. <laughs> you guys notice that my behavior is always worse. Okay, so hold on. Let me get this straight. Let me get where I'm working from. I'm going to move this back a little bit. Because <laughs> I'm so far forward. Okay, so this is a 9 by 12 canvas. I bought a bunch of them. Hi guys, anybody new here? I haven't had Irby since college. Probably a reason for that. Um, so, you know what I'm going to need? Oh, hold on. Hold the presses. Hold on. Mickey, come here. Out there in the small box on top, there is a box of these. I need this. Go out in the laundry room. Laundry room. There's some boxes stacked up in front of the dresser. I need a new gesso. It's just I'm never going to find it. I'm out of gesso. And we know we're going to need that. Okay, so anything. Ah, okay, hi, Michelle. I think we're going to need gesso. I haven't gotten there yet, but... I would imagine we're going to need gesso. I kind of want to use this. This Did you guys see this new turkey baster I bought? No. This was in the at Blick Art. And this is the same brand name. And I thought, oh, that will be cool to, like, move stuff around. So I might use these for something. I just don't know what it is. Okay. Uh, oh, Michelle. <laughs> I'm already in the zone. Michelle's, I'm going to prime this a little bit because I am going to add a little, did you find it? No. You didn't? Come on, I don't have all day. Okay, you're hilarious. Okay. 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 Yes, thank you. Scooch. Did, did you copy that from my... No. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, sorry guys, I'm yelling at the camera. Okay, I don't know why I'm priming a primed... <laughs> So what I'm going to do is prime the prime canvas because it just seems like the fun thing to do. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm putting on the primer really thick. I'm, I'm at the bottom of my dippity do here. Does anybody know what dippity do is? Okay, what is dippity do? I think there was a song at one time. And I'm going to see what happens when we use this brush. I know. I'm gestoing over the gesto because I'm going to add some texture. I'm going to try this. Oh, do you see this? Oh, 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 it is hair gel. Wicked cheap. Yes, hair gel. Okay, this is the reason I am gestoing over the gesso <laughs> because I didn't know why I was with. This is what I'm doing. This is cool. Okay, I'm not going to do it in the middle though. I'm going to I'm going to move some of this around. I really just want to texture the outsides more than I do the insides because I'm going to do some drawing. I think this jar is about yeah. Let's call this a day. Okay, I'm gessoing over the gesso because I wasn't thinking. Yeah, this thing is cool. This is oh 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 my gesso just exploded. Oh. That's what happens when you ask a 10-year-old to bring you something in. They shake it up all the way. And then they turn it upside down. All right. Well, we're not going to waste any of it. Okay. I just want it on the outsides. I really didn't need it on the insides. I'm going to just... Oh, what am I doing? Stop spreading it. Okay. This foam brush is... Look at this thing. <laughs> For 15 cents, you think I could throw that away? No, we're going to keep it for another month. All right. All right, here we go. So the purpose of this puppy is to do this. Oh, oh my goodness. I just flicked gesso across my, onto my floor. <laughs> okay, totally bad example. 
Don't flick it. We just learned a valuable lesson. Okay, this is possible to flick it right off the... Okay, I'm just kind of framing it out. I don't even want it to be in the middle. I don't know where we're going to put our bird yet. So I'll just feather that back in. Isn't that cool? I don't even know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but let me just tell you, it's kind of cool. It's always good TV when you don't know what the person's doing, too. In fact, I'll show you in a second. I will hold it up, I promise. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go buy more of these things. I did not realize what a fun time I was going to have using it. Flicking gesso across my... Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to be perfect, and I really shouldn't do that, because I try to tell you guys don't be perfect. Oh, look at that. You can get it right out of the gesso thing. Okay, I didn't really know what this thing was, and now I'm uber excited about it. And when I say uber, I mean utterly uber. I'm not even looking up. I'm sure there's lots of questions like, what are you doing with that thing? I don't know. But I do realize you can just stick your thing in the gesso. Stick your thing in the gesso. There's another famous quote. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing right there. Okay. All right, I think I'm going a little too much anal retentive on this thing. But uh, you get the picture. Let me lift it up and let me close this gesso because it is really making a mess all over my desk. Okay. Ah, hold on. Let me get the baby wipes out because I have a feeling that this project is going to be a little messier than I anticipate. Okay. All right. So do you see the just what I did? Cool, huh? Do you see it? What brand gesso? Oh, my favorite. I use Deco Arts gesso. Je gesso. Jessie's girl. You know I am gesso's girl. I only use gesso. Okay, sorry. Little Rick Springfield to get you going. Okay. I want a white back prime ground like Jesso's girl. Okay. Here we go. Um, I know that sounds ridiculous. Okay, heat gun. Warn the dogs. Warn the dogs. Here it goes. I don't really have a vision yet. I kind of have a thought. And now that I've added all this texture writing on this, it'll be a pain in the behind, but that's okay. It doesn't sound like aliens? Oh, maybe I'll do this. Maybe I should scale back on a little of the... Yeah. <laughs> Too late now. No scaling back on nothing. I want a little texture happy. Oh, well, I'm happy with it. The only thing you really want to do is make sure it's dry because you know how I am. Impatient. Oh, I meant to show you this. That's the gesso. Uh, whoever asked me, Terry, Doris, somebody asked me. Decor. I love it. <laughs> love, love, love.
Dries quick, goes on thick, never complains, never talks back to me, treats me with respect. <laughs> Definitely not one of my kids. Now, if you're wondering, um, Andy is the moderator, and she might be asking you guys what your real names are. It's because I like to try and get to know everybody. So one day when we have 5,000 people that are tuned in, I will be able to run down the entire list of 5,000 people. So she's um, not doing it to stalk you. She's doing it so I can stalk you. And if she's not introduced you to the Facebook group, we have a Facebook group that... We chitter chatter back, or as my cousin and I say, chitty chat. One time when we called our uncle, because we he always misunderstands what we say, and he's kind of hard of hearing, and we like to play jokes on him. So he got an iPhone, and we called him, and we asked him to get the app Chitty Chat. So for days, he was looking for the app Chitty Chat, and now it's a big family joke. When we all go to chat on iPads or Skype or something, we all call it Chitty Chat. <laughs> He probably doesn't like that I'm telling that story. <laughs> um, okay, so this is blue. I just picked out a blue. It just It's called Ocean Blue. And it looks right pretty. So I'm going to use it. Okay. Um, so now I let, you guys, I let you guys use our chitty chat. Oh, this is a baby wipe. Because I don't really get another paintbrush. <laughs> Dirty. No. Because I don't have 15 cents to spare on new paintbrushes. So I'm just going to continue to um, use baby wipes. And keep the baby wipe business going. Because God knows I'm not going to have any more children to do that. And if I do, shoot me now. Ooh. I don't think I dumped near enough paint. Oh my god, now I'm totally thinking about my uncle. Chitty chat. And he kept calling me. There's no chitty chat. <laughs> my family should not be allowed to have any type of technical devices. They just shouldn't. Okay, so now the fun's going to begin. Because we got the sides. Now we're going to go in. I don't know what we're doing. But what I think we're doing is we're going to come in here. And everywhere this texture, we're going to just, I didn't decide like on an inside color, and I probably should have done that first now that I am rethinking, but maybe there won't be an inside color. Uh, Jean, believe it or not, I am not, I do not have any rabbits in my hat, and this is a, a total trick that I do with just pulling a project out of my rear end. It's called painting by the seat of my butt. I mean, rear end. So for all of you who have tuned in, if you think that all day I worked on a project, the answer would be I did not. I waited because I can rely on you to plan that whole thing out for me. Okay. I kind of think I should have started lighter now, but, you know... Okay, but I can always do that. Oops. All right, let's get another color. Either blue chiffon. Ooh. I'm thinking this blue chiffon, it's very light. I just am going to dump. Oh, never use this one. Hmm. Never use this paint. Oh, I hate opening new stuff because... Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm just lighting up the inside. Light, lightening it up. It's blue. It's like I'm going from white to white. Basically, I've gessoed over gesso, and I've gone from white to white. How's this TV show panning out for you? Okay, and I'm going to mix it in, because that's what I'm going to do. 
I don't know. I kind of like the way it's turning out. I always wonder if you guys can hear my kids in the background. I am like totally in the zone and just feeling good. And I can just completely hear three people going at it. It's just so relaxing. Okay, I'm going to stop. I can always come back and add more if I need to. Now you can see where I got the texture going. Because we're going to draw a bird, I believe. At least we think we're going to draw a bird. And when I say a bird, I mean like a cute little chickadee or something. I don't mean... I don't mean the middle finger. <laughs> okay. A bird. I'm going to go with the bird today. My cousin really likes birds, and she asked me if I ever painted birds, and I said, I never have. So this might be a first. And she inspired me to do it. Kind of a good thing. So I'm going to go from this raw concept that I'm thinking of to something of Melanie Ross, Melody, Melody Ross, Melanie, Melody, she draws a lot of birds. All right, anybody have any questions? Questions, answers? No, what Angie? No. Okay, let me, um, I'm looking up if you have any uh, questions for me. Okay. I guess our painting is going to be this way now. Oh, no, I think it will be this way. Forget it. Really? No more aliens now? That's so weird. Right. Why is life so difficult? If I could answer that question for you, my dear, I would not only answer it, I would undifficultize it for you. Because God knows I could have I used that myself. But good question. That that is a great question. Unfortunately, I'm not. Okay, this is not gonna be easy. I might have to move the camera in. I could move the camera in so you could see it. Um how many artists does it take to screw in a light bulb? Why would we do that? We'd have somebody else do it for us. <laughs> Sarah's like, I'm never going to be able to watch tonight. What does that mean? <laughs> Why? Am I that bad? Okay. I'm a little nervous about this whole sketchy poo. So let's, uh, okay. So let's go to it. I, I have a, a bird in mind. Oh, yeah, way. Here's my, here's my preliminary sketch, which looks nothing like a bird. But you know what? Is it close enough that you guys can see? Oh, you are? Oh, I want to go there. Okay. So, okay, yes, we can see. That's all I need because if you can see, then that is good. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to have this bird and stop freaking talking about it and just do it. And remember with Jesso, whatever mistakes you make in life, well, not the big ones, but at least the ones that, oh, at least the ones that are on a canvas. Yo, oh, this is so nerve-wracking right now. This is gonna, this is gonna end up looking more like a pigeon or something, and I hate pigeons. This doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, it just, it just has to be looking like a bird somehow. Okay, I hope I get credit for this one, girls. At least a heart. We've all drawn them in grade school, but this. I think I want the bird moved over too. I gotta remember, I'm gonna have swirls coming out of its butt. Oop, what's that? Okay, well, don't worry. Everything in this world is meant to be erased and started over. Right? Maybe not. Okay. Okay, plan B. We are moving to plan B, and that will be a giant heart. No, I'm just teasing. We're not giving up yet. Have I ever given up on you? No, because if I did, we wouldn't be here today. All right, I'm going to move this bird over, and I'm just going to commit. Okay, stop 
chit-chatting about it. Stop chitty-chatting about it and just do it. Okay. That's what I wanted. I wanted a big, fat bird. And that's what I'm getting. Like, maybe too fat of a bird. Okay. I think I need to be more up here. And I need to be more spread out here. Okay. Okay. The good thing about sketching is we can just sew over any of our mistakes. Okay. And we're going to use what? My magic charcoal pencil to fix anything. Right? Right, right, right. It's kind of a fat bird. See, I want this to be there. See what I said? I wanted swirlies to come out of its butt, but I'm thinking that maybe, okay. Kind of looks like a bird. Don't you wish you could sometimes like erase your day? <laughs> I do. Not today, but many other days. Okay. Does that look like a bird? We're going to gesso it. <laughs> okay. It kind of looks like a bird. I, I, I just trust me on this. I don't even trust myself right now, so I don't even know what we're talking about, but trust me. I believe that sometimes... Even when I dread what is going on, it pans out. So let's just let's just fly with it. <laughs> Get it? Fly. Okay. So let's gesso our bird because it feels like the right thing to do. And this is where I'm going to kind of be able to fine tune, and I'll just get rid of my other. I do need to kind of go over this. I do need to, sorry. I, I do have pencils that are marks that are, you know. I'm, I'm going over my pencil marks. But I will go back over that with the blue paint. This is what's great about gesso. See, these. this is the line I don't want down here. Okay, but this is the line I do want. Okay, it's a, kind of a fat bird, but... Sometimes, you know, we're all a little bloated, so let's give this bird a chance. Oh my god, this looks like a more like a rooster. Okay, and then we're going to gesso our heart because the heart is really what I'm shooting for. It's kind of the center of my piece, believe it or not. Not this damn cockadoodle-doo here. Oops, I swore. I apologize. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Everybody have faith. Because you got to have faith. Oh, you got to have faith. Faith, faith. Aren't you glad I know every word to every song? George Michael, thank you. 80s. Original band, Wham. Okay. Yep, it's a gift. Okay. Just getting rid of these pencil marks. But don't worry, I can go back over it in the blue. Okay, I believe it's looking like a bird. But then again, I'm not looking at it at the angle you're looking at. So it might not look like a bird. I believe it's going to look like a bird, though. Well, I'm going back in with the blue. Just going to see. You can get rid of what you didn't really want there. And we're going to go around with it with something, pen, charcoal pencil, any of the above. So, you know, there we go. Can't even see all my boobies. Boo -boo, boo boos. Boobies. <laughs> Hope you can't see my boobies. And, um, okay, can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, good. I think she should have drawn the heart in the wing area. I thought about it. I thought about it, but I want the little wing to come down here, and it's going to swoop into there kind of thing. It's almost like the one wing is up, 
I'm sorry, I said boobies. I know. Okay, does it look like a bird at least? Give me that. I mean, you guys can all be blowing smoke up my boobies, but now I want to say boobies. <laughs> okay. So, okay, this goes to show you, you cannot be afraid to draw stuff. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay. Stop moving so fast and sad. Okay, that's kind of the effect I was going for. I was not going for a real bird because God knows I'm not going to be able to draw it. So my idea is for this wing to kind of be swooping out about here. So that's going to be a wing. There we go. And the beak is going to be here. And the little eyeball is going to be here. So, there we go. I'm committing to it now. It's it's kind of there. And once we hit that charcoal pencil and the pens and all that other garbage, it's, you know, we're in. Um, so, I haven't committed to the legs yet. Oh, sorry, Penny. Just tripped over my dog. Um... I want to paint this bird like a, I'm going to go red for the heart. That's going to be easy. The heart's going to be red. I can commit to that right now. Okay. I love this red. I use all deco art paint. I think it's red, primary red. Well, I don't use all their paint, but 99% of what I use is theirs. And again, I don't want this thing to be perfect, so I think I'm going to come up a little bit. And I just realized the... see these birds everywhere and I saw this thing over the weekend and I thought I could draw that it's not as easy as you think it's going to be maybe you shouldn't do it in front of people too when you first decide to do it maybe you should like all day sit there and practice it nah that'd be too obvious okay so my bird what color is my bird going to be I was going to go with a I know you're going to all yell at me, a marigold, and then I was going to, like, darken it, tint it. I hope you know how much I love you, Tracy. I had to leave my cozy bed. And <laughs> Tracy, I love you, too, and I love, not just because your name is Tracy. Okay? Oh, bye, Lamar. Oh, Tuesday night, tomorrow night. Okay. I better make, now I've got to feel pressure. It's like you all expect something to happen out of this. Okay, this bird is kind of f fat. I'm sorry. This has been like one of the craziest things I think I've ever drawn. Like it's not, this is not my customary me. I'm going to brown the, I'm going to do something with this bird. Don't worry, I have a plan. At least I think I have a plan. Okay. Oh, I didn't even think about, okay, the tail yet. Okay. So, um, what color is that wing going to be? I can't really put a lot of thought into that. 
One minute timeout. Wait a minute. Maybe I have a setting messed up. Hold on. Uh-oh, hold on. Turn off slow mode. No. Pause the chat. Do not allow links. Chat options. No. Oh, if you stream had a face, I'd it. I love it. Hello? I'm sorry. She's not available right now, but her secretary would like to take a message. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. All right. I, I, oh. <laughs> Andy, you're a moderator. And you slowed down chat. Oh, Andy, did you touch something? Oh. too, Andy, so no uh, skin off my back. Um, you guys, I want to pattern that bird. How could I do that? Oh, I know. I want to put a pattern on just, hold on, I'm going to dry this. Or you leave your moderator alone for five minutes and look what she does. Okay. All right. Goody. Now, tracing paper. I know. I was, you know what I was thinking of? I was thinking of, like, I want to make it a fun little, like, pattern. I cannot bubble wrap over that, but I bet you I could take a stencil like this. Hold on. I'm looking for a small pattern. A small, oh, hold on. I found it. Look at this thing. <gasps> okay, I bet you I could do it with, I mean, this is not a real bird, right? So this is a crafter's warehouse, crafter's workshop. Might as well get the name right. Okay. See, do you see what I'm talking about? And I could take stamp pad ink over the top of it. Okay, there's a plan. Here we go, dark walnut. Do you think this is going to work? How do I do it, though? <laughs> How do I not? Oh, I, it doesn't matter if I get it in there because I can just gesso over it. Oh, you know what I wish? Oh, I know what I have. Hold on. They make these little ones, but this might be a little dried out, but let's try it. Um, they make them in little ones, but I haven't used them in forever. But now would be the time to use it, I guess. Time, no. Just got to find the right color. Hold on. There it is. Oh, come on. Is that the color I'm looking for? Somehow I'm, no, copper penny. Hold on. Oh, what's this color? Nope. Lid to something. Oh, there it is. Pond green? No. Hold on. Of course, the colors can't be where you really see them. That's because I don't have them on. Gold? What's this color? Old English red. No, that's going to be really nasty. Copper penny. There's a lid to it. Green. There it is. Sea foam. Sorry, guys. This is horrible TV. Wish I had a magic oven right now. Okay. None of these. I can't find it. So put these all back together and we're just going to do it. Question. <laughs> yes. What's the question? Oh. All right. Well, I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm really scared to do it. I'm very scared to do it. Oh, here we go. Okay. I got one of these little dauber thingies. Oh, yeah. I think this is going to work. I 
don't have to be perfect. I just want it to be okay. Ready? Oh yeah. Hold on. Let me get in that corner a little bit. Okay. That's what I wanted. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That's what I wanted. Yay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I need a wing. What color can that wing be? I want it to be fun, like a blue color. I don't want it to be like a regular. What about this? Baby blue. Green. Okay, green. I don't mind green. Like a wasabi green or a foliage green. How about this wasabi green? It's kind of pretty. Okay. Let's try this. I don't know. I kind of want to make another pattern now. It's too light. I do not like this also. I do like this. <laughs> Orange. I kind of want it contrasting. Hold on, I'm looking. Hold on, is my sun down enough? Um, mustard. That is mustard, the color I've used right there. See, this is the color I have. Is that too light? How about this color? Now I'm darker. Clean the brush, geez. <laughs> this color, more teal green. Teal green, hold on. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to keep it light. You know, oh, I know what I'll do. Uh, I want to keep it light. Well, this is Bahama blue. How about Bahama blue? And then I go over it with a teal pattern. Use orange. Ay, caramba. Orange. That's the color. It will go with the mustard. Okay, hold on. What do I got? Butterscotch? Ooh, now I got like a... That's too light. This is really bright. I'm, I'm not crazy about the orange next to the red because I want to keep it whispering turquoise. How about whispering turquoise? And then I go turquoise on a pattern, but make it a different pattern. No, not orange. Dark orange that matches this. Oh. Although I'm dark orange that matches the pattern on the bird. Good night, everyone. I keep going. Oh, I'm sorry, Kim. Okay, it's being recorded. I kind of, okay, hold on. I got to put my, ooh, okay. I'm kind of between the, I almost want to use a different pattern, though, in the, um, hold on, what do I have? I want to use a different pattern in the, uh, what do you call it? I'm looking for another one. Can't be the same. <gasps> oh, how about these flowers? Mm. <laughs> okay. Believe it or not, I'm thinking these little flowery things. Oh, here, there's a bird on it. Sorry, Kim. I know, I'm going crazy. I'm the wing. It's going to be just these little, uh, like, flowery things. Here we go. It's another one, Crafter's Workshop. I don't know what this one's called. Something. But I'm going to do just these little, see these little flowery things? Right in there. Look at how cool that is. I might even have these stems coming up. Look at how cool. There's a bird sitting right there. Look at that bird. Looks just like it. Okay, um... Hmm. All right, I'm going to go with the pond green. I'm going to go with the green, and I am going to go with the light. I know wasabi green's a little light, and I know I'm going against what you guys are saying, but I'm going to go dark green for the pattern. Let's get rid of this paint before it modulizes. Okay, so let's get this open. I can't get it open, so let's just pour it. Whoops, that is way too much green. What a wasterholic that was. All right. Oh, I think that's too light. Now I just wasted all that paint. Mad, mad, mad. Okay. I don't know. What do you guys think about the green? Well, you know what? I'm kind of committed, so just bear with me. It'll be fine. It'll be way fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Okay. So let's try that because I'm going to put a little different pattern in there. Don't be afraid of the pattern. I might have a cool ink color that's going to go right over the back. I'm going to put these back because I didn't use them. And then I'm going to try and take this jabby do. You need a. I'm just taking this brown. This isn't really a stipple brush, it is a paint brush, but I'm trying to use it as a stipple brush. Okay, that seems pretty dry. Here's our next pattern. I'm just gonna find. Okay, ready? Begin. Uh oh. All right. Sure hope this shows up. I'm using a Marvy ink pad, which is green. We're going to find out in a minute. Oh, oh baby, look at that. It works. Okay, it worked. Crack of the loo, it worked. Okay, so really happy with that. Now I'm just going to take a pen. Okay, and I'm going to trace around it a couple of times. Now, this is where you got to get kind of creative. And don't go over don't go over your pen marks. Go all over your pen marks. Oops. Not that far out of your pen marks. Whoa. And shoot up there. This is a Faber Faber Castell pen. Very uh, kind of goes over everything. And don't worry, I'm pulling that charcoal pencil out if it kills me. Okay, we need an eyeball. Oh, we kind of need a beak. Kind of need a beak. Okay, there's a beak. And where's the eyeball? Do we want to go that low? Yeah, eyeball. Okay. Ooh, chickadee doo. -doo. Okay, so where's my charcoal pencil? Yes. See? Told you. You guys were so scared of everything. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking my Charcoal pencil. Oh, no, no, I'm really jacking it up. Okay. Now, whoops. Okay. Hallelujah. Let's give her a little bit of shadowing.
I don't know what I'm doing about that fruity tail, but there's got to be something coming out the back of that. Okay. And I'm going to take kind of a, um, I'm going to dip into this. This is an orange color. Just going to give that beak a, a beaky color. Don't worry, I'm going to fix it. Okay. So, oh, this bird is going to kind of need feet, kind of going to need feet, terracotta feet, terracotta feet, oops, i to shake this up, tiny little legs, yes, I hope I don't blunder this up, but I don't. I think the feet I have on it right now are a little long. Here's my eraser, my magic eraser. I don't think I need to make them that long. They're just little tootsies. Okay. Okay. Now, this is where it gets fun because I have no idea what to do with that tail. Okay. Oh, I love the pattern in this thing. And then... Okay, that's a bird. And then, I wish I could just swirl it, stamp it. I have these swirl stamps. I wish this thing would work. <laughs> what if there was a, 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 a bird's tail right in these stamps so I wouldn't have to even... Um, oh, look at this. <gasps> what about that? What about stamping that baby? Ooh, let me erase all my bad stuff here. Because I really do want something coming off the tail. Okay. Really liking this. For my first bird, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, thank you. I really kind of want to use this little thing right here and bring it out there. But I think it's too short. Is it too short? Should I do that? No. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one, but I don't know. I should draw it. Ah, I like the swirly one. I know. I'm wondering, can I just do that off its butt? Because I can always trace over it and then add a few more swirlies. We're going to do that. We're going to do that because that will save me the pain of trying to get, draw these swirlies. I'm going to have to do it in stays on though, so Lord knows my stays on never has any ink in it, but we're going to try it. If not, oops, if not, I can trace over it. Not the end of the world. I'm going to ink this up so good because my stays on never has ink in it. And then I can always just. Here we go. Commit. Oh. oh my God. Please turn out. Oh, it did. <laughs> oh. It did. There we go. Hello. 
Yes. Oh, that would have been a good idea. Okay, I'm so happy. This turned out way better than my nasty little sketch that I did this afternoon. Okay. Oh, my God. Yay. Okay, it worked. Peeps. At least I think it worked. It may not be perfect, but it is perfect for me. Okay. So this is just a charcoal ink pad that I'm just going to run along my edges here a little bit. And then I got to do my wording. I love that I drew a bird. This was way out of my comfort zone. Like, I mean, I know I say I don't like hearts and all that, but who, you know, you learn to draw a heart when you're three years old in school. Nobody teaches you how to draw a bird except for those M's that you make for a seagull. <laughs> That's the only one I know. How to... Okay. Okay. There we go. So. And. Yay. Oh my goodness, totally drew a bird, and I like it, and it has a checkerboard pattern on it. Okay, I don't, enough of that. Okay. Oh, I do not like to draw hearts either. <laughs> okay, so this is all I have as a plan. Other than my other plan, I better get this wiped up though. I gotta get that stays on off that stamp so it comes off because stays on kind of makes a little messy poo. All right. I almost thought about drying these stems. See, look at how cool those stems are across there. But I'm kind of liking the texture and I just don't know that I should mess with it because at some point I'll get to the point and be like, okay, totally screwed that up. All right. So. Always follow your heart is what my saying is going to be. So, oh my goodness. Kind of really jacked about this right now. I can't help staring at it. And that's probably not good for TV. All right. I mean, it kind of looks like a bird. Okay. <sighs> okay, go paint. That will help. Okay, what's... um? Oh, my dog just opened the door. Okay, so... Now I need to do always follow your heart. And then I'm done. And it's only five to seven. Thank you. Hallelujah. All right. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. Okay. So how do we give your give your heart wings? Okay. This is. All right, I'm going to have to write it, I think. I'm a little nervous about writing over this texture business, but I really want to make it like some funky, like I want the word follow to be right here, and I'm going to do it in, um, maybe I should do it in fun lettering. Okay, this is going to be follow. Uh oh, oops, too big. Sorry, I'm, I never draw. I actually never write in pencil first, but I'm a little worried about the spacing. Sometimes you have to be. I wanted to get that. Oops. Okay, so let's do it again. Oh, Lori, I'm in book two. Okay, so let's do this again. Follow. Oh, bubble bath with a good book sounds like a great idea. I've had a really long day. Okay, there's follow. And I'm going to do your... Okay, and I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp heart right here. So I don't have to worry about that. 
In fact, I'm going to use this to do my lettering. Oh my god, I always tell you guys to commit. Now I'm having the hardest time committing. Um, don't look, don't do it as I say. Okay, and then I'm going to do this in okay. Okay, I'm a little worried about how textured this is, so I am going to paint this. Hate to do it, but H E A R T. Always, oh, always H E A R. Trying to find all the letters as I go along. There's another L. Uh oh. Oh, sorry, the black marker. These are both Faber Castell. There's the broad one. And I'm using the fine one, or the small one. It's this one. S. Small. Those two. Two of my favorites. Writes awesome on... Great question. Thank you. Okay. H-E-A-R-T. H-E... A R T, I need an H. A L. I'm going to do the top. I'm just a little worried about how textured I made that top. So, hence the stamp that I'll be able to paint and it'll be like right quick. Yeah. And I won't have to worry about it. H E A R T, and I'll use the same A there. I won't need to worry about that. I kind of need a small S. Oh, here I'll use this one right there, and I need an S. What did I say I needed? H. Here's an H. H E A R T, always. I needed a small S. Not the end of the world if I don't have it. Um, here's a small S, always. I kind of want a little A right here. Okay, oh, okay, there we go. Yep, I'm going to do that in, and then I'm going to twirly up those letters a little bit. Okay, oops, that's white. What am I doing? Ding dong. All right, this is black. Okay. This will be slam dunk, I hope. Say that and then watch. I make a boo-boo. Okay, what's going on with this thing? Need to... Hold on, got to dry this paintbrush off. Okay. Can you guys see that whole thing? Here we go. I don't know why I'm starting down here, but I am. And just make sure your letters are going in the right direction. <gasps> remember? Remember? Oh, my God. Remember? Last week? What was the week I totally spelled the word wrong? 
That was great. You could stamp them. I just, I added so much texture to this. Like it's, I want to get in the ridges a little bit. So that's why I'm stamping it. And it's quick. And it's painless. See, now I can go back over it. Fill in. Oops. Not too much. Not with this giant paintbrush, Tracy. Okay. So Thursday night, I'm teaching a class in the art studio locally, and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm a little nervous. It's taking me a ton of work, but I'm excited about it. Oh. Always... Uh-oh, I hope I spelled that right. Looks like I did. Oh, that's not too happy. Oh, hold on. I do not want to use a big, thick brush to do this. Oh, you can just go back and touch up what you missed. Okay. I don't think there was anything else. Cool. Always follow your heart. Okay, I gotta throw these in there. Try to soak these down with water right away so that they don't get too nasty. Okay. And then I just want to add a little bit of fun to the letters, I think and get rid of my pencil marks. Okay. Okay, did I use these? No. Get rid of the paint. I have learned one valuable lesson is don't leave the paint laying around because you'll stick your hands in it and you'll stick it on your art project and you'll be super mad at yourself. Not that I've done it before. Just saying. Okay, I thought about it, that's why. All right, where's my eraser? Because I had a little line I didn't need. Okay, yeah, this is a Faber-Castell marker. Okay, and then I don't know, I'm just adding lines because I don't want my... I gotta be careful here. Okay. Hello. I think I think I think I'm done. I believe I'm done. But I believe it could use something else. <laughs> and I'm wondering this is where you guys come in. I'm debating spraying, oh, 
some swirls into it. I could cover everything and put a swirl there and a swirl up here. What do y'all think? What do you guys think? Should I swirl it up or leave it alone? See, like this swirl could almost go whoop. More so I like the swirls. Okay, but I got a mask it and I'm gonna do I'm gonna paint. Oh, I don't think I have an ink. Oh shoot, look at me. See, this is why I say don't be in a hurry, la la lady. I I just went into my paint. But that's okay. That's what wet wipes are for. And a little bit of gesso, and it'll be fine. I do have to dry off that W, I guess. Let's dry that up before we do anything else because I don't want to mess this up. I'm literally like down to my last paintbrush, kind of cracking me up. I have like one more paintbrush, I think. I, every time I've done something, I haven't rinsed off my brushes. Oh, way too dark. Oh, hello, McFly. Why don't you just make it look bad? There we go. Don't you love painting? <laughs> mistake no more. Mistake be gone. Okay. Mistake be gone. All right. What was I saying? Swirl it. I'm going to swirl it. I just got to make sure my... And then I'm done. Okay, I want to be able to spray this though, or ink it. Should I ink it or spray it? Huh, do I have a spray that would be blue that would be showing up? I don't, oh, no, this is slight problem. I don't know if I have a spray that matches. Hmm. I know, I kind of think I'm with you, Lori. I'm a little afraid if I, if I spray this. First off, I don't think I have a spritz or anything that that matches in color. Oh, that's ink it. I know. What could I ink it with? Oh, I have I have blue ink. Okay, what do you think? I'm gonna slow it down a bit so that I can see what y'all are saying. It says, tell her when she looks. Okay. You know, if you spray it, it may go someplace you don't want it. Yes, no swirlies, ink swirlies, bubble wrap. Oh, bubble wrap <gasps> with a darker blue or something. You know what? Bubble wrap is actually not a bad idea. I could do it put on a little bit with just the same blue. I'm liking the bubble wrap idea because I can do it in the same blue. The problem is this. It may take me six days to find where I cram that bubble wrap because I oh, found it. Yes, I think I'm. I think I'm liking the bubble wrap idea, and I'll just do it in the same blue, so we don't go like crazy with it. Oh my god, I'm liking the bubble wrap idea. Okay, so here we go. The good thing about bubble wrap and this whole idea is, if it doesn't pan out, we can just stop what we were doing. You know. And I can roll it over the sides. Oh. <gasps> I like it because it's subtle. I do like it. It's way okay with me. Perfect. Whoever said bubble wrap, you get three um, stars on your forehead. 
Who was that? Was that Jane? Oh my goodness. Isn't that cool? Angie. Is it Angie's little, like, you know, bubble wrappy thing? She was the one who got me hooked on the bubble wrap, I think. Okay. Now, <laughs> now I cannot get enough of the bubble wrap. Seriously, you know what I like about this one is there's a lot of like, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, whoops, not that one. That was not a good bubble wrapper. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm getting too lazy now. <laughs> Oops. Okay, should I stop because I'm just going to keep bubble wrapping until I can wrap no more. Oh, forgot this side. Oh. <laughs> okay. Whoa, I love it. It's what it needed. <laughs> Oh, did I get my hands on this part of it? Look at me with my hands. Okay, I gotta stop before I look at it. I have no more room. I have no more room. I must stop. And I have stuff all over my hands. Hold on, one more paintbrush. I love how I get going and you guys are all like, stop, tell her to stop. She's going crazy. Um, but I really want, that was a great idea. Whoever said that, kudos. Okay. When you make a boo-boo, all you got to do is go back over it in the color you were using and life is good. Okay, we are done. You know me, I would go back and add some swirly do's or something to it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to touch it. I'll share it on my website. So now I am daring you all to draw a bird. Not give me the bird, draw a bird. My hands are so full of... I'm going to have to get more bubble wrap, people. I I'm throwing it away, and I know Angie says I should keep it, huh? I should just... I know, but you guys know how I am about dirty stuff, so now I'm just going to wipe it off. <laughs> Look at it, I'm washing it off. I'm washing bubble wrap off. That's pretty sad. Okay. Tracy suffers from the bye. Okay. Did I go too much? I really was into that. I really got into that bubble wrap. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm changing cameras. Okay, so I've re I probably got 82,000 wraps into that, and you were all like, stop. Okay, whoops. Look at it. I drew a bird. I cannot wait to text this to my cousin, Brian and say, I drew a bird. She is going to be crazy over this. Do the drawing. What am I doing? Oh, do the drawing. Oh, my God. Sorry. Oh, 721. Okay. Hold on. Sorry, you're right. Do the drawing. Thank you, guys. Right, let me just wipe my hands off, and then I'll do the drawing. Oh, my God. Another fun night. Okay, ready? Here's the drawing. Ready? I'm rolling the drum. Ooh. 
Okay, maybe that is not the. Okay. <laughs> Trying to get one out. Okay, picking them. Okay, hold on. I can't read the writing because it's really small. Oh! Oh, Lori Patronus! Blessed. Lori, Lori, Lori! And I just want to tell you how many drawings we had this month. One, two, three. I didn't count myself. Twenty. 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 Oh, I just put Lori back in there. Somebody's got to remind me, Lori. Lori, email me your address. Look, email me what color you want because I know what I'm sending you. Got it. Look at all these things. If you guys did not go back and look, everybody who submitted in July, these were all the people. Putting them back in. In August, I'm doing it all over again. I got a prize. I already know what it is. And thank you all because I can't believe. Do you ever do like you ever afraid you're gonna throw a party and nobody's going to show up? That's constantly me. I always think I'm gonna throw a party, put out a big uh, platter of food, and be sitting there at the end of the night eating it by myself. But we had twenty some entries, I believe it was. And I feel like I was not at the party alone. My goal for August, and I know it's a real challenge, which I mean, um, I know it was a real challenge, is to um, do that layout about yourself and your own handwriting. So uh, please, I would encourage you. Uh, yes, it is, dear. Can you go? Um, I would encourage you to please, um, you do it like that? I love that. Thank you. I really want to. I would encourage you guys to take this one on because, uh, that challenge has been very satisfying to me and I realize now, um, what a place my pictures has in my art journal, especially your own. Okay. So, uh, I think that was it. Did I miss anything? Uh, I would like you guys to all make bird pictures and then share them with me because I would like to put them on my website. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the, oh, the kids. This is why you guys don't pay for the show because every second. Yes, yeah, so for the first time, I'm giving you all the bird. Ready? Oh, I'm so happy I tried to draw something new. I mean, it's not like I tried to draw the Leaning Tower of Pisa I, or Mona Lisa. I drew a cockadoodle Louie. <laughs> okay, so um, I challenge you all. Lori, for their first birthday, they were thing one and thing two, and I was the cat in the hat. It was pretty funny. I made, I made their uh, Halloween costumes, and I put... You ever do one of those things where you say... Um, I'm just going to keep this fabric foam paint just in case I ever need it. And then you put it. And then the next day you hear something, like you don't hear the kids playing. And then you're like, uh-oh, what is that non-minute noise? The twins took the fabric foam paint and painted my white carpeting. Oh, do you need my email address? Or does, I bet you Andy has it handy, I'm sure. Um, that That was one year of my life. Oops. And I hope you guys all got the dare. I never know. Andy usually takes over on everything. But um, whatever you guys, check out the August dare because we did it last week. So there's a video. Don't tell me you know how to do it because we did it right there. My life has been nothing but fun. Okay. Did everybody enjoy it? Thank you for putting that up, Terry. I'm going to flip off the recording, but I'm going to stay here because i got to clean up. And I'm going to photograph this. I'm not adding a thing to it. It's done. So here we go. I want to thank you guys. I'll be, I will be right back. i got to um, – I have to hit the save the recording. <laughs>